When Jordan Trigger received a double lung transplant, he was given a second chance at life. But the 33-year-old, who was born with cystic fibrosis, developed a deadly bacterial infection and his body started rejecting the new organ. We didn't really know what to do. I wasn't getting better. They were, they were giving me several different kinds of antibiotics. So good to see you. His doctor remembered a chance meeting with a UQ medical researcher who'd been studying antibodies and their role in bacterial infections like Jordan's. So having a new treatment like this, which does not use antibiotics at all, um, but does kill the bacteria after the treatment, is really uh, important for uh, these patients and for many other diseases. The experimental process is called plasmapheresis. It involves washing the blood to rid the body of all antibodies and replacing them with healthy ones. This had never been done before, certainly in Australia, and it was a really new thing. People thought we were a bit crazy. For Jordan, it was a risk worth taking, and the results were instantaneous. And I was quite surprised when he had such a, an incredible recovery, literally a few days after we started that treatment. When the blood tests came back and they said it's working, you know, like all of us are like, wow, it's, it's such a euphoric, amazing feeling. The results are being hailed as a breakthrough in medical research. We had all the evidence that we thought we needed to show that this would work, but whether it would actually work in a real human well, was unknown. 40% of lung transplant patients succumb to a deadly bacterial infection after their operation. This pioneering research is expected to significantly increase their survival rate. Jordan's case will now be published in international medical journals and he's looking forward to his new life. Just start a family, just live a long, healthy life. Jessica Rendell, ABC News, Brisbane.